Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. I want to bring you another encouraging word from the scriptures this morning. This is in blueletterbible.org, and I'm in the book of Matthew, chapter 6. I found this posted on our signal this morning under Holy Spirit Praise and Worship. I love it when Jennifer posts scriptures, and sometimes some of the others do also. I have been known to. It's just not what I do daily. Anyway, this is uh, actually titled in NASB 1995 version, The Cure for Anxiety. All right. The reference to it is in Luke 12, 22 through 31. So that's another one you can check up, check, check on for reference to this. All right. Matthew 6, starting with verse 25. For this reason, I say to you, do not be worried about your life. Uh oh, somebody burned their toast <laughs> or their bacon is smoking. It's usually what it is in the morning. Do not be worried about your life as to what you will eat or what you will drink, nor for your body as to what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, that they do not sow, nor reap, nor gather in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not worth much more than they? Yes, we are. And who of you, by being worried, can add a single hour to his life? Not one bit. You can't add anything, so why worry about it? And why are you worried about clothing? Observe how the lilies of the field grow. They do not toil, nor do they spin. Yet I say to you that not even Solomon in all his glory clothed himself like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the furnace, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? <coughs> Jasper, it's okay. Do not worry then, saying, what will we eat or what will we drink? Or what will we wear for clothing? People will be saying that when they can no longer buy and sell. So will they cave? Or will they trust God? If Oh, I hear the fire alarm on another floor. But we're just getting flashing lights here. That's strange. Fire alarm doesn't work right anymore. <laughs> Anyway, sorry for the interruption. That's probably what my dog was barking about. Okay, he's talking about people worrying about, well, if I can't work, and now I can't, now uh, things have changed, it's even worse, I can't buy or sell, what am I going to do? Well, gee, uh, are you going to turn to the Lord? I hope so. For the Gentiles eagerly seek all these things. For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. And all these things will be added to you. So do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will care for itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. I pray this little message from the scriptures blessed you this day. And helped you to put aside any little bit of anxiety you might have. The world is still a beautiful place to be in while we are here because God is in control and he will take care of us as long as we're here. Whether we go soon or we go later, you trust in him with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths that's proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 all right with that i'll say bye for now i'll talk to you later